Welcome to the Crypto Bear Hydrogen Hot Rotting Channel powered by the Secure Supplies Group in Bitsy, ticker symbol Bitsy, ticker symbol the second today's episode. We're diving deep into an exciting topic. Now, bubble water fuel cells. What happens when we wire these cells in series versus parallel? Which configuration is more efficient for generating voltage, extracting electrons, and boosting nanobubble production? Let's explore. Basic concepts to start. Let's break down some basic concepts. Nanobubble water fuel cells are innovative systems designed to generate hydrogen on demand using water voltrolysis. The key to improving efficiency lies in optimizing how the cells are wired and understanding the effect of nano bubbles on the process. But first, what's the difference between series and parallel wiring? This is an open source project and based on my work, which is patented and free for use now in the public domain. There's no one owner, it is public knowledge. It is the current state of the art. The primary purpose and objective of the water fuel injection system is to take the preconditioned and nanobubble water loaded water suspension and at the right charge whilst maintaining the, the right pressure on the fuel to the gas spark adapter and atomize it at 120p. So uh, the water fuel cell makes gas pressure and the expanding gases from the water act as a pump. Reaching two bar sending water out of the bottom of the water fuel cell to the injection rail. It then goes past a linear push solenoid that pulses the water in the fuel line up to 120p ES. I series and parallel wiring diagrams in a series configuration. The cells are connected end to end, causing the voltage to add up while the overall capacitance decreases. In contrast, parallel wiring means each cell gets the same voltage, but the capacitance increases, allowing for better energy storage. Series configuration with nine cells. Showing voltage buildup, parallel wiring, on the other hand, keeps the voltage at a steady 40 DC to 200 VDC, 1 amp to 2 amp max input, and a maximum breakdown capacitance, breakdown capacitance voltage potential of 130, 140 kilovolts across each cell. Dramatically increasing capacitance, allowing for more energy storage and a more stable system overall. This is great for applications that need consistency and reliability, similar to what Secure Supplies uses in their hydrogen-fueled mining and intelligent data center power plants today, along with some hydrogen hot rod applications. Remember, the off time is where we make the most gains during gate time. Since we have capacitance and voltage potential to do work when circuit is off and keep nanobubble water fuel and bubbles in suspension as a usable fuel, this is one of my secrets Mr. Donatelli has fully replicated and shared. Nanobubble formation and efficiency. Here's where it gets interesting. Nanobubbles. These tiny bubbles between the tubes and suspension increase the surface area for voltrolysis to occur with near zero amps and no dead short, thus no heat or thermal runaway. Thus they reduce resistance and improve electron extraction. In a parallel configuration, the higher capacitance and steady voltage means more efficient nanobubble formation, making it ideal for continuous hydrogen production 24 hours a day. Automatically stopping the use of fossil fuel burning and allow electron extraction from the oxygen. Nanobubbles forming between the electrodes showing improved surface area, but in a series setup, the higher voltage can cause quicker breakdown of water molecules, leading to faster hydrogen generation, especially when fine tuned with a high frequency pulse and a gate with correct to off time to capture production from back amp and capacitive potential in nanobubble water fuel cell. During off time, however, the lower capacitance means nanobubble formation might not be as consistent as in parallel wiring. Benefits and drawbacks. So which configuration is better? Let's compare the pros and cons. Series versus parallel comparison chart in series wiring. The benefits include higher voltage, and faster hydrogen production, but it also comes with drawbacks, lower energy storage, more voltage spikes, and less reliable nanobubble formation. In parallel wiring, you get better energy storage, more stable hydrogen production, and fewer amp spikes, but the overall voltage is lower, meaning slower gas production, but the overall voltage is lower, meaning slower gas production. Mr. Donatelli has shown these comparison charts in more detail on 
the Secure Supplies Patreon page and shop, please refer to, refer to his training manual series, V's Parallel Wiring PD. Parallel Wiring PDF available for download from Hydrogen Hot Rod Patreon. Both ways work great and far exceed all other methods known to mankind. Recommendations for different applications. If you're a novice looking for starter experiment with nano bubble water fuel cells, parallel wiring is your best bet. It's more forgiving, easier to manage, and provides a steady production rate and a good platform to learn the skills. The 18 inch nine tube cell is best for this after you initial single and double cell. Learning steps are achieved. Ideal for motorbikes and smaller applications, the balance between voltage and capacitance makes parallel the smarter choice for builder and training. Mr. Donatelli provides the guidance and training materials for people to replicate this fast at home.